games. Whoop, let's go. Uh, Hursty Games, and this is how we do. Now it's time we team up. Hey there, guys, welcome back to Hursty Games, and welcome to a player review on the channel for. I'm going to call him Florian because I'm pretty sure I can pronounce that. His surname, I'm probably going to butcher. Nyadelechina, maybe? Nyadelechina? I don't know. Florian is his name, but this is his player review. He's part of the new team of the season that's come out for the Bundesliga. They came out on Friday, and he is one of the cheapest players. Now, my thought process was, looking at some of the stats on his card, he kind of basically looks like a cheap Lewandowski. And by that, I mean a bit of a target man kind of decent-ish stats but not quite the same obviously as this massive Lewandowski card and I thought I'd try them out. Realistically I would have liked to have maybe put an engine on this card but with his shooting being a whole 10 less than the team of the season Lewandowski I'm not too upset that I managed to pick one up with a fork. I bought him for 44,000 coins. Three star skill moves which is a slight shame but with weak foot the four star weak foot for a striker for me is a must so I'm really really happy that he's got at least a four star weak foot. To have a little look at his in-game stats, so he's got a base 87, so this basically boosts him to a 91 in regards to that pace. I think that might be because I haven't got, I know the shooting will be a little bit boosted if I change my manager, which I'll do that before I get into the games. Uh, the shooting though with the Hawk Chem style boost is up to about 93, I think. Um, and then the physicality gets a boost of like two or so, so he goes up to 93 or 94 physicality. But a really, really nice looking card. Agility and balance on the face value of it, maybe a tad low. Um, but hopefully that's not the end of the world. He will be a target man for me. This is the team I'm currently running with. Um, made a few sales, a few changes in my team. I'm aiming my, my content now basically towards content instead of worrying about foot champ. So I'm gonna have some fun with FIFA hopefully and, and bring back the fun content, which is why I'm trying to bring back player reviews now that my laptop is working again. But this is the team we're gonna run with, 4-2-3-1 with him as a lone striker and hopefully we can have fun. So I'm gonna get the team ready. I'm gonna take it into some div rivals and we'll see how he does for us. And let's hopefully have a good review. Okay, game number one and we come up against a hell of a squad. He's got some lucky odd red picks in there with the 97 Benzema and Oblak. Some other good cards in there as well with a lot of icons. So it's going to be a challenge. Now turn the ball around nicely here. We get the ball to Havertz. He's brought his keeper out. Hello, mate. Are you good? Florian, finish that mate. Finish your dinner. A little bit slow and then he misses it. That's that's maybe not a good start. For some reason he's quit. Um, so we're going to give maybe Florian the benefit of the doubt that he didn't score, he didn't score that. And um, what? Okay, technically game number two, but we're going to call it game number one because I'm really not sure what just happened there. But this guy's got a full French and French league team, a very good attack force and a pretty solid defense as well. We get the ball here to Kimmich, we get it down to um, Calvin Phillips, who plays a lovely ball into Florian. Holds it up well, the four star skill moves is a bit of a stinker, but that's a lovely pass in. Kimmich down to Eze, and Eze finds the back of the net. Have to say, Florian did keep the ball up well. Sadly, didn't have too much in the end to do with the goal. Really, really kept the ball well and a really nice pass off. So, um, so far, a good start, but we haven't got enough yet to see about his shooting. Hopefully, the next chance can be his. Florian now with the ball. Hasn't really got too many options around him, but he's kept the ball really well. A little bit sluggish there, but Semedo's rapid, so I'm not too surprised he caught him up. Watkins up to Florian. A lovely overlapping run there from Havertz. Florian make a run into the middle. He has done that. Gets the ball. Oh, it's a very heavy first touch, but he's done really well to get that. Fair play to him. I didn't ask him to take a touch that heavy. I was expecting him to take the touch, and then I was going to just take the finesse shot straight away. But... It was an incredibly heavy touch, but it did actually kind of end up working out. I'm not going to lie to you. This here, look, that's a massive touch, but he's got the strength and he's quick enough to take the shot and he does back it really well. Good composure. 2-0. Florian takes his time on the ball, but again, he's just not very agile. This is something I'm definitely learning. His agility is, uh, is not massively high up there and he feels a bit clunky because of that. Phillips plays a lovely ball here. Florian, go on, mate. What can he do with this? He's going to drag it back, sweat it across to Havertz. He's tried to be clever with it. Just wanted a normal pass, so it's a bit of a waste of a chance there. Watkins has got real good pace to burst down this wing. Then we play it in to Florian. He's going to turn. Play it back to Watkins. Nice little interchange here. Havertz. Keep it. Get it to Florian if we can. Keep that ball. Lovely turn. Pull it on onto his left. Let's try his left foot out. Ah, oh, it's a good tackle from TT in the end, but... Oh, it's, it's his pace. is the one thing so far. The pace and his dribbling. That is two things, in fact. But they're the only things letting him down. They're the kind of the things... We sort of really expect to let him down. I'm not going to lie to you, but we're going to flick this ball up here. See what he's like on the ball, in the air. Lovely bit of dribbling. Go on. 
Oh, that would have been a fantastic goal. I love doing that kind of thing with Lewandowski. People don't really know how to defend it because he's got the height. He gets that ball nice and high up and it causes problems for people trying to defend it. Would have been amazing to have seen if he could have pulled that off because, like I said, i do that with my Lewandowski. Would have been a perfect time to kind of compare it. Can we fit it in there? We can't quite get above Lloris. Can we keep the ball alive? We can not. Half time. Right. Honestly, some real, real good points and some stinky points to take from it. When he's not trying to do the clever passes, his passing is perfectly fine. His passing feels absolutely fabulous, honestly. Strength is fantastic. Don't need to improve the strength whatsoever. The only thing I'd like to do more is get him into some more shooting opportunities to really test the shooting out because I don't feel like I've given his shooting quite the proper treatment just yet. And that's purely because he's dribbling. Um, isn't fantastic and he is lacking that bit of pace. The pace upgrade was needed. I'm going to have to recycle this quite well, I think, here to get a chance out of it. He's done pretty well there. Havertz gets it to his feet. Florian, nice turn. Does well to win it back. Ah, the pass wasn't quite on. It's a shame, like I said. I don't feel like he's getting too much of the ball, which makes a review pretty hard. Bellerin finds Eze, who is in loads of space here. He's made a fantastic run. We get it to Havertz. Florian just stays on side. Left foot. Oh, I think he was actually just offside. Really good strike, though. That is his weaker foot. And it was a phenomenal strike. If we get him in the right position and he has got shooting boots. That's good to know. Now though, we need to get him in the right position more often and preferably a yard on side instead of off. We're gonna cut inside here. We get the ball to Havertz. Can we get some hold up play? We can, lovely hold up play. A nice simple pass, which is what we want. Good little one twos. He gets it back. We are gonna sweat it. We are gonna score with Havertz. He gets himself an assist. That is what we want from him. We want him in the right place. We want him to do the simple stuff, and he does the simple stuff well. His passing feels good, as I said before, when he plays the simple pass. If he's trying to do all these clever passes, we're going to lose the ball, because he's doing flair stuff when I don't want him to. But he's got a goal and assist in his first game, and I'm very happy. There we are, full time. And honestly, so far he's kind of played as expected. He's playing very, very well for a, a card that's worth 40,000 coins, and I have to say, his weaknesses are kind of what you expect his weaknesses to be. You don't expect him to be massively flair. You don't expect him to do all these fancy tricks and all this stuff. You don't expect him to be massively agile. You expect him to get the ball and put the ball in the back of the net. He's managed to do that once. He's managed to play pretty well. There is a hovering ball there. What is going... What? I've lost my trail of thought. There was a hovering football and I'm, I'm lost. Okay, game number two, trying our main man out, and that is a fantastic team. Some fantastic players in there. Meta players like Richarlison, Cruyff, really good defence, really good midfield. This is going to be a tough, tough game. Get into a good position for me. Ferrari, mate. Need you in a good spot. That's a bit better. Turn the defender. Good effort. Again, the shooting feels good. He's getting shots on target. We've seen him score on both foot, although sadly the left footed goal was offside. But we see he's got the ability to shoot. It's getting him in those positions, making more chances. That's the only thing I'm struggling with. Ah, he scores a goal with Maldini. Maldini on the edge of the box. What's going on there? Ah, oh, poor sloppy defending. We didn't get it out, sadly, but mate, Maldini's bang that. Second half, I just, I need him to get on the ball more. I'm struggling genuinely to get highlights with him because I just don't feel like he's getting on the ball very often. And when he is, sadly, he's not getting to do too much, especially in this second game. Hopefully this half we can change that and we'll start off by getting in the ball straight away. Havertz, come on my guy. Let's try and make, look, his team is so compact. And when you've got someone who's not particularly agile, it's pretty hard to get him through their good effort from him and a good save from our black. This is better, let's get the shots and hopefully, eventually, one of them finds their way in. Kimmich is gonna play up to Havertz. I'm gonna press L1 and encourage a run here from our main man, left foot. There we go, finds the back of the net. That L1 made a big, big difference. I've been trying that for the last five, 10 minutes in this game, using L1 to force the run and make him make a run. It's made a bit of a difference. It's something that I don't have to use too much when I've used my likes of Aguero or, or Lewandowski or whoever I normally use up front because they kind of do that a bit more instinctively because he's that bit less like pace driven and a bit less sort of, I don't know, more of a target man. I guess he maybe needs that, that uh, bit of a, Extra encouragement, but a good goal on the left foot. Two goals and an assist in two games. I can't be upset with that so far. Nice little one-touch football here. Havertz plays it to our main man on his left foot. Good effort, but Oblak with another save. I seriously think this guy's shooting is fantastic. I really think he's been unlucky to not get more goals. Bear in mind, this is on his weaker foot. 
That is a fantastic strike. His agility, not his, his agility, his balance and composure feel fantastic for him to get the shot off like that to that ability on his weak foot. He does win the header there, but that, that wasn't as good. Kimmich plays it up to Havertz. Oh, we missed the first time to pass it. Left foot again. Oh, he's hit that one wide. I genuinely thought he was going to score that one with the chances he's had for the rest of the game. He has missed that one. He's getting into more chances. Using the, the L1 button to encourage a run forward has made a massive difference in regards to how much of an impact he's actually having and how much more the ball he's getting. With this guy playing through at the back, it's given him so much space. Look, again, L1 encourages the run. We get him onto the ball. Didn't press it that time. He did that himself. Right foot. Oh, it's off the post. He's getting so unlucky now. He's having all the chances, but he's now not quite burying them. He's doing so much more though. He's getting so much more involved. Yeah, that's full time. A real shame to lose it. I feel like he slowly but surely worked his way into the game. And I feel like I slowly started to really learn the strengths that you can utilize with this card. As I said in the last video though, with my team reviews, uh, my player reviews, sorry. I can't really record more than two games. Otherwise my laptop won't be able to keep up with the edit. So sadly we'll have to leave that on the amount of games and I'll give you my review of him right now. Okay, so my thoughts on this card. Obviously, it says three games played. It was only two because that first one, the guy quit straight away. So that was two goals and an assist in two games. Now, to compare it, for example, to the Martial review we did recently, he scored nowhere near as many goals. He didn't, and that's, that's a simple fact. I preferred this card. I know it sounds really weird to say, but I preferred this card as a striker. I genuinely feel at striker this card for me, suits my play style. I like having a target man. I love Lewandowski. He's one of my favorite cards I've used this year. So in my head, that's kind of what I'm comparing it to. Now, was he as good as him? No, my head down on Lewandowski is worth about five, 600K. This is not even 10% of that. But genuinely, I think this card felt really, really good. For me, I enjoyed it. The three star skill moves is a slight shame. If you're someone that likes to use a skillful player, then he's not going to be the guy for you. But if you've got yourself 40, 50,000 coins, because his price always could go up and down, it cost me 44K at the time, and I sniped him, and he was about 45, 46, so I should be able to sell him on and just about break even. But realistically, in my head, I would want an engine on that card. His shooting felt very, very good. He made some really, really good chances, and I feel like if in the first game I was able to use him the same way I did in the second game, I think he'd have scored more goals, and I think we'd have a, a player here that would have scored maybe four goals in those two games and genuinely I think the card feels way better than it looks. The balance and composure both play very very well. The agility is a bit of a stinker. The, the dribbling in regards to the fact that he kind of feels a bit clunky is a bit low but that's part of the reason I would want an engine on him because I think it would boost it just a little bit. Passing felt good. It is weird that he kept doing the flare passing. It's not a trait of his or anything so it's a bit weird that he kept doing that on repeat and it was a bit infuriating but I think with an engine this would be a fantastic card. But that is the end of this player review for, as I said, I will call him Florian because I can't pronounce that name, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comment section if you ended up using him because any more reviews of him in the comment section just helps people if they're scrolling through just to get some second and third opinions as well. So that'd be greatly appreciated. Of course, if you do try him out, let me know as well your thoughts of him and if this review helped you and give me some suggestions for some team of the seasons or some special cards or whatever kind of cards um, that are out if you'd like to see some reviews on it because that's what I'm using my coins for. I'm using it for content. I'm not as focused on my team now. Make sure if you did enjoy the video to please leave a like. It is greatly appreciated. It helps the video out. It helps the channel out massively. And of course, if you're new around here, consider subscribing. Hopefully you enjoyed the content and make sure you turn on notifications to be told anytime that we upload a video or indeed go live with a live stream. For now guys, I want to say a massive thank you for watching. I've been Tom. You guys have been awesome and I'll see you soon. Look after yourselves and wash your hands. Thanks for watching. Let's go. Uh, hurts the games and this how we do Now it's time we team up, team up. Check them online, you might catch them playing FIFA Hey, yeah, you know we keep it live Make sure to give a like and subscribe Gaming channel, what's the best one? Keep it hella dope, hella fresh, huh? Yeah, hurts the, hurts the games Tune in, even told my grandma My sister and my best friend You might wanna check them If you wanna be entertained You already know the name Check us out, hurts the games, hey Woo! Make sure to give a like and subscribe